tell me when to go. I do it. Simba is now home. New home. New home. Hey. Meow, meow, meow. No, I can't do it. After rescuing Simba's from the vultures, Timon and Pumbaa led him to their home in the jungle. Can I really stay here with you? Asked Timbo. No problem, kid, said Timon, patting Simba on the head. You are an outcast, just like us. Besides, a lion might come in handy. Simba started to look sad. He didn't like being an outcast. Put your past behind you, Pumba said cheerfully. Just sing Hakuna Matata. That means no worries, no problems. Simba felt a bit better after his new friends taught him their song. I'm trying to get a focus. So that's our philosophy. Said Timon, but you look hungry. Make him the yeah, 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 do it. Let's see what's next. Whoa, am I skipping stuff? No. No, yes, you are. You are. Make sure. No, we're good. Don't rip it. No, we're good. I'm so hungry, I could eat a whole zebra. Simba Ooh. answered. We're fresh out of zebra, said Timon. Whenever you get here, Have a grub. It's one of the Greenfield kind. <laughs> Okay. Slimy, yet satisfying. Whoa, whoa. Simba thought the grubs looked horrible, but there was nothing else to eat. He tried one, saying, "He tried one, saying, Hakuna Matata." See, said Timon, "Not bad, huh?" Have another. Pumba handed Simba a leaf. Full of bugs. Simba ate them all. How about a little walk? Said Timon when they finished lunch. We will show you the neighborhood. You will love it here. Besides, I know a great place to get dessert. <laughs> Mm -hmm. West for dessert at Simba, hopefully. What the beast? Nope, said Timon. Nothing even, not something even better. Beetles? Watch this. Said Pumba, sneaking up a log to a log. A line of beetles was marching along. Pumba gobbled one down, one after one for each of us. My favorite, said Timon, smacking his lips. The minty kind. But after dessert. Mm -hmm. But after dessert, Simba started to look sad. He felt homesick. Timon tapped Pumba on the head and said, Now that the kid has been fed, I think we should show him a good time. 
Pumbaa smiled and whispered something in Timon's ear. Terrific idea, said Timon. Kid, follow us. Oh, he's broken. Oh, no. Wait, is it? What is it? Simba followed as Timon and Pumba led him to a cleaning, oh. to a clearing. Oh. <laughs> Watch this, said Timon. Now we're going to have some real fun. Now we all remember the part where he jumps into the lake. With that, he jumped and grabbed a vine. Off he sailed. Pumba grabbed a couple of vines. Be careful, he warned. It's not as easy as it looks. See? Dun! Simba grabbed the vine too. Then he let go and flew through the air. You got it, kid, said Pumba. Hakuna Matara, move your hand finger. <laughs> because I cannot see. The three of them spent the afternoon swinging on the vines. Are you ready to get hit? It was so much fun that soon Simba forgot all about feeling sad and homesick. But he got so dizzy, he, he had to stop swinging. Mm -hmm. I so turn the this? page. I don't know, his finger or his foot. Timon or to Pumas foot. Turn the page. Quickly go we're filming. What should we show the kid next? Timon? Said Pumba leading the way into a wall of green leaves. Suddenly Timon whispered, Follow me quick, in Simba's ear. Before Simba knew, it, knew what was happening, Timon had shoved them behind a big bush. We're gonna play the hide and seek. Oh, Shooting without Pumba what we're playing as Simba. Don't worry. He will figure it out, said Timon. A minute later, Pumba came right to the spot where they were hiding. How did you find us so fast, as Simba? Easy, said Pumba, laughing. Timon always hides in the spot. Why? By this time, Simba was pretty tired after all the exciting things he had done all day. He was starting to yawn. That means he's tired. Look at that, said Timon. The kid wasn't as once a rest. I do, I do not," said Simba grumpily. "I hate naps. Did I say nap?" asked Timon. "Boy, are you jumpy?" Pumba smiled and settled down in the shade. He patted the ground next to him and said, "Sit down. Take the weight off your feet." Simba leaned back. And before he knew what was happening, Timon was filling his claws while Pumba fanned him, him with a big leaf. You're going to love it here, kid, said Timon with a wink. He's like this, and then splash. Time to hit a, the waterfall, Thanks. said Pumba. after a while. What for, asked Simba. 
I'm having fun just sitting here. We need to shower, said Timon. You will see. Waterfalls are fun too. The river was right down the hill, but the waterfall was way at the end. How do we get there? Asked Simba. He was yawning. Move your finger. See those big gray lumps, said Timon. We stepped on those rocks, right? Said, Tim, said Simba nervously. Oh well. Hakuna Matata. But the rocks were slippery. First Simba fell in, then Timon fell in. Watch out, yelled Pumba. You're scaring the fish. Timon is this guy. Make him dance. And then he was like, uh, watch out. Right, turn the page. Okay. Simba really liked the waterfall. Once he got used to it. Don't forget to wash behind your ears, said Pumba. You sound just like my mom, said Simba, frowning. Swimming is okay. But I don't like baths. What happened to Hakuna Matata? And not worrying and no problem and all that stuff. Hakuna Matata soothes the soul, said Pumba. But a bath soothes the rest of you. The squeak clean feeling is really great. After washing behind his ears and singing Hakuna Matata, Simba, beca- Simba began to feel better he really liked his newfound friends but best of all he knew he'd be happy in his new home the end okay